You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Finally, an end to the COVID-19 pandemic is in sight. It's no secret that local businesses were hit hard in the heat of it all, but they're not so quick to go back to what we knew as normal. Clothing store guys and gals at the Orchard Mall implemented many new ways to serve customers, which will actually continue in a post-pandemic world. Not just at guys and gals, I don't think anywhere we're ever going back to what we were like before a pandemic. We DM customers all the time, FaceTime customers all the time, we did curbside, um, we did deliveries. The website actually started post-COVID. We have customers all over the country now. As long as we can accommodate our customers, we're happy to keep doing it. And we still bring stuff out to our customers, we still FaceTime our customers who aren't as comfortable, meet people here on a Sunday. As restrictions are being lifted nationwide, you may be excited to spend a maskless Saturday at the mall, but you better keep one in your back pocket or some stores still won't let you in. For the safety of our employees and our customers, which has been our decision-making process the whole time, we are still doing masks only and nobody's really bought us on it. In fact, when we posted that and sent our email, people thanked us. It's going to take people a long time to be comfortable doing things. Everyone has a different comfort level and I think that's what People have learned a lot about people through this whole thing. So we know guys and gals are still erring on the side of caution, but not all places are. If I walk into Starbucks over here, no one's gonna tell me I need to keep this thing on. But where do you stand? Are you comfortable going in public without a mask on? <laughs> yes, because I am fully vaccinated. My comfort level is very, very high. I've been vaccinated since December. So I continue to wear a mask when I go into establishments, restaurants, stores, and things of that nature, and only really take it off when I'm interacting, conversing with someone individually. Outside, like walking, where I'm going now on the trail, I, w I won't wear a mask. But inside, I always wear a mask. I always carry my mask with me, just in case. Um, Pretty much I feel comfortable now. I just think that any precautions we can take for health and safety of others or ourselves are things that I'm willing to do. Mostly I work outside, so that is the best, safest place to interact with people. However, because other people are uncomfortable, I will mask up for their comfort. I go in places that don't have masks, like Costco doesn't. People don't have to wear masks and they take their word for it that they've been vaccinated. It's really hard to regulate and you have to just hope that people are on the honor system. Just remember that even if you feel comfortable without a mask on, the person next to you might not. And businesses aren't necessarily going to tell us what to do anymore. It's now up to you and me to keep each other safe. Reporting for The Splash, I'm Erica Jones. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.